Smith everything I have, Charles Smith. Yeah, hey, I want to let you know I'm recording this call from my records. Uh, I was hoping to talk to somebody about Jeffrey Winehouse, please. Public information. Yeah, hi, I want to let you know I'm recording this call from my records, but I was just hoping to talk with somebody about Jeffrey Winehouse, the incident yesterday. Yeah, you, we're not going to uh, give you any statements that you're recording. Um, well, can I ask who I'm talking to, what your name is, please? Yeah, this is Sergeant Al Nolton. Okay, and... I guess I would question why you wouldn't uh, give me any statements if you knew I was recording because I would hope that if you felt comfortable and competent communicating something to me were I not recording, you would feel to have the same um, communicating it to me if I was recording. Well, simply because all the information that we did send out through uh, the, the media, through our news release and, and, and interviews with the media, which there's a lot of them, that's, that's the only information we can put out at this point. Um, until later, until the investigation is completed, because it's an ongoing investigation. So everything is out there that we can put out. So there's nothing new I can tell you. So uh, okay. there's nothing new I can give you on your recorded uh, device right there, other than what's out right now. Okay. Well, I, I, okay. well, if if you could entertain a few questions, I may not have seen all the information that's gone out yet. But I was hoping to learn the names of the people involved in the incident that work at as a. Uh, the, the people who shot. Yeah, we're not going to release anything more because it's an ongoing investigation. That that's standard procedure. You should know that. Yep. Okay. Well. Uh, once the investigation is over, then we'll we, we'll look at all the facts and and uh, take it from there. But right now, it's it's definitely an ongoing investigation. Okay. Do you see any conflict of interest? Being that the same folks that are investigating it are paid for by this and colleagues of the the people who sir. were involved in it. Hey, sir. What, what's your name again? I'm sorry, I never got your name. I did not give my name, and that's irrelevant. Okay, what, what, okay well then, see, you want you want me to give you information <clears throat> on an ongoing investigation, but you're not even, and you want to know my name, and you're not even willing to tell me who you are. Well, so we're, we're just going to go ahead and end this right now, and I, I appreciate your concern and all your willingness to ask questions, but once again, this is an ongoing investigation, and surely you must understand that we have to take care of that first. Well, I have no okay. problem. I have no, Thank sir, you, sir. No, hold on, Bye. sir. So hold on, sir. <laughs> yeah, I will let you know I'm recording this call from my records, but I was hoping to talk to the public information employee, please. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try the extension again. Hold on just a second. Thank you. Hi, this is Sergeant Al Nolton with the Missouri State Highway Patrol Public Information Division. I am out of the office or on the phone at this time, so if you would leave your name, your phone number, and a very brief message, I will give you a call back as soon as I can. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Hey, uh, this is the individual that you just hung up on. My name is Pete Ayer, and as I was trying to say before you did hang up on me, which I think is a little bit rude and unprofessional on your part, uh, the, the, it's the information I seek and the incidents and the, the facts that happened yesterday involving the shooting of Jeffrey Winehouse is not contingent on who I am or who someone else happens to be who calls seek, uh, with inquiry, inquiry on it. And in fact, uh, you know, I would hope that you as somebody who gets paid for by stolen money would, and who purports to protect and serve would, um, realize that you, you are supposed to be accountable and open and transparent. And therefore it doesn't matter who's asking questions and that you have a, you have sworn a duty. And this is, this just, um, I guess is indicative of the kind of things that Mr. Winehouse was pointing out in the area. I, I don't claim to be privy to all the facts of the situation or of uh, Mr. Winehouse himself, but from what I can tell, he obviously had a gripe about corrupt double standards that he witnessed by some folks with badges, and uh, you did not do much to dispel that. In fact, you compounded that with your lack of uh, treating me like a human and actually having a conversation and being accountable to people who pay your salary. So I hope you'll think about that and um, I hope you will speak out against wrongs that you see and you won't hide behind a thin blue line and think that you and your colleagues have extra rights because you don't. And think about what kind of society you're going to leave your, leave your kids and future generations if you, if, you and if you allow for these kind of things to, to continue to happen. So I hope you think about that.